Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the uh, the playoff for the Confederations Cup 8 spot. This is game number 5 out of 6. Now, if Nigeria would have had won game 4 versus Panama, which was the, the rematch between those two teams, Nigeria would have had clinched already the spot for the Confederations Cup. And this game would have been meaningless. Think about that. This is Uruguay's only first home game, and it would have been meaningless already. So this is the Uruguayan National Anthem being sung. So this is the rematch of Game 2 of the tournament, which was Nigeria's second game, which was Uruguay's first game. Uruguay's first two games was on the road, where they played both Panama and Nigeria on the road, and they suffered a draw against Panama on the road and they su and they suffered a loss when they played at Nigeria on the first time around. Now it's Nigeria at Uruguay. So the situation in this match is simple. If Nigeria gets a tie, Nigeria clinches the Confederation spot, the Confederation's Cup 8 spot. If they get a win, of course, they also clinch it. But all they need is a tie. Uruguay needs to win this game because this is Nigeria's last game. Nigeria will not play no more in this playoff. This is their fourth game. This is their fourth and final game. So Uruguay needs to win this game and also probably win it by more than just one goal. They need to win by a couple goals. But if Nigeria musters a tie in this game, they will clinch the Confederations Cup 8 spot and there will be pretty much no need to play out game 6 of this playoff which would be between Uruguay and Panama would be totally meaningless that game Panama is already eliminated regardless but, but if Uruguay can win this game then Panama would love to be playing spoilers in game 6 which would be the 4th game for both teams 4th and final game this is the fourth game for Nigeria, and this is Uruguay's third game, and Uruguay's first home game. So Uruguay needs to win this match, and they need to win big. To make game six relevant. And Uruguay goes up in front. In minute number 10, it's Luis Suarez putting Uruguay up 1-0 over Nigeria. So after 10 minutes of play in game 5 of the playoff, it is Uruguay 1, Nigeria 0. Through. And a delicate 
ball. Plays it out to the wing. There are a few waiting for it. Look at the shoots! In he goes again! It's missed another one. They're just lacking the cutting edge, Peter. And while that's fairly obvious, the rest of their attacking play is actually quite good. There is Suarez. Cavani. Looks to dink on it. Spotted. Going for goal! Uruguay needs more than just a win. They need to win by a couple of goals to make their task easier in game six when they play, which will be their fourth match in Panama's fourth match, which will be the final game of the playoff. And for sure, 100% sure there will be a, a clincher by then. There might be a tie for first place. Now, if there is a tie for first place and somebody celebrates on top of it, but there's like a clear tie, like goal differential, goal scored, then I might have those two teams play again in a friendly with penalty kicks involved. But Uruguay needs to at least win this game to have a shot of clinching the Confederations Cup in Game 6. But it's not Game 6 of them playing 6 games, it's, it's the 4th game. It's their 4th game, it will be Panama's 4th game. This game is Nigeria's 4th game, Nigeria doesn't play anymore after this. Para vocês brasileiros que não entendem inglês, o que eu estou dizendo é o seguinte. Se a Nigéria conseguir um empate nesse jogo, a Nigéria já se classifica para a Copa de Confederações. Se conseguir um empate. Aí o sexto jogo, que seria entre o Uruguai e o Panamá, sendo o Panamá jogando no Uruguai, o jogo seria, não seria significante para nada, seria tipo um jogo de um amistoso, que não significa nada. Mas o Uruguai tem que ganhar esse jogo por mais de, seria a, 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 ajudado dele ganhar por dois ou três gols nesse jogo e ganhar o sexto jogo para tentar ter o melhor saldo de gols do que a Nigéria, porque o melhor que o Uruguai pode fazer é ter sete pontos na tabela, né? E para classificar. Que a Nigéria já está com sete pontos. Então, a, o Uruguai tem que ganhar esse jogo. E a gente chegamos no meio tempo e é Uruguai 1, um, Nigéria meu. Então a Nigéria precisa de ganhar esse jogo Não A Nigéria só precisa de um empate Para classificar para as Copas das Confederações O Uruguai precisa de ganhar esse jogo E ganhar o próximo jogo E, e, e se ganhar esse jogo só por 1 a 0 eles vão ter que ganhar o próximo jogo por muitos gols de goleada para para ter o melhor saldo de gols do que a Nigéria porque os dois vão estar empatados com sete pontos aí ia cair né no saldo de gols então a Nigéria pode perder esse jogo e ainda classificar então a gente pode ter uma classificação sem sem uh, assistir uma celebração na, 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 no final, né? Porque se, eu, se a Nigéria tivesse ganhado o último jogo que foi jogado, foi o jogo número 4 desse playoff, né? Aí a Nigéria já ia ter se classificado. Esse jogo não ia significar nada. Esse jogo ia ter sido tipo um amistoso. Mas se a Nigéria conseguiu um empate aqui... Eles vão estar com oito pontos e já no, aí, né, 
Aí já não faz mais diferença que o Uruguai faz no, no, no próximo jogo. E o Uruguai consegue o segundo gol. Um do Cavani, um do Soares e o Uruguai vai em frente da Nigéria 2 a 0. Uruguai goes in front of Nigeria 2-0 in this pivotal, pivotal game. So it is Uruguay 2, Nigeria 0 in this fifth game of the playoff for the right to get the eighth spot in the Confederation spot. So Uruguay is not dead yet, but they're going to have to beat Panama in the, in, the, in the final game if this result stands. So this is game five out of six, and it looks like the sixth game will have meaning behind it. Nigeria gets one goal back. It's two to one Uruguay. And that is a crucial goal, even if they lose this game. That is a crucial goal for them. Now, if they get another goal and tie this match, they clinch the this is to they clinch really the Confederations game. Cup eight spot. But Uruguay gets an insurance goal and go up by two. It's Sarasate putting Uruguay up by two. Oh, Uruguay ganha uma vantagem. Pô, que se fosse uma vantagem de três gols, seria muito ajudável na, no, no caminho deles de tentar conquistar né, o, o lugar na, na Copa das Confederações, o, o oitavo, né, o oitavo, a oitava vaga. Porque isso aqui está valendo uma vaga nas Copas das Confederações. Vai ser entre esses dois times, porque o Panamá já está eliminado. 
O Panamá, né? Vai jogar o quarto jogo contra o Uruguai. Vai tentar ser tipo spoilers que fala no inglês. Uruguai, two up and into a position of real strength. And Uruguay gets a fourth goal, and that goal is crucial, crucial, because now they pretty much just need a regular win against Panama, I think. Now they're up by three over Nigeria. It's four to one Uruguay in this game five, and Nigeria cannot celebrate just yet. Now Nigeria is going to be hoping for a Panama tie or win in the sixth game for them to get into the Confederations Cup. Oh, wow. There will be drama in game six, folks. There will be drama. I thought that this game was going to be meaningless because it, like, it looked like Nigeria was going to win that fourth game. And that's the way the match ends. Uruguay is still alive. Nigeria has to hold. Nigeria's played all the four, all their four games, and they finished with two wins, one tie, one loss. But now they gotta hold on for the result of the sixth game, where Uruguay plays Panama. That's gonna decide who's gonna get the Confederations Cup eighth spot. Who is it gonna be? Is it gonna be Uruguay? Is it gonna be Nigeria? Or is Panama? Is is it gonna be Uruguay? Or is Panama gonna play spoiler and help out Nigeria? We have to wait and see. Stay tuned for that as this novella of the three-team playoff unfolds, which now becomes a two-team playoff, and the third team is gonna play, try to play as spoilers. So till then, peace, peace out. Like and subscribe. Thank you. Ciao, ciao. Bye, folks.